Proverbs chapter 31, a prophetic warning, the words to those who will reign as priests and kings belonging to Yahweh, the prophecies the house of Yahweh will teach them. O oh, you who have been set apart by Yahweh, O oh, you who have been set apart as Yahweh's sons, O oh, you who have been sanctified by my vow. Do not give your strength to those who deceive, nor your ways to that which destroys those who will reign as priests and kings. It is not for those who will reign as priests and kings of Yahweh. No, it is not for those who will reign as priests and kings to drink the wine of Yahweh's wrath, nor for rulers to love bloodshed. For they will commit evil and forget the law and pervert the justice of those who are afflicted. Bloodshed is appointed to him who is ready to perish, and the wine of Yahweh's wrath to those who have bitterness of heart. He who commits evil, therefore, renounces the law, the poor, and the suffering he remembers no more. Speak out for the one who cannot speak for himself in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Speak out, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. The virtuous wife. Who can find a virtuous wife? Her price is far above rubies. The mind of her husband safely trusts in her, and he is well compensated for it. She will do him well and not evil all the days of her life. She searches for wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her provisions from afar. She rises up while it is still night and gives food to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. From her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. She sees that her merchandise is of the highest quality. Her candle does not go out by night. She puts her hands to the spindle and her hands hold to the staff. She opens her hands to the poor. Yes, she reaches out to the needy. She is not afraid for her household because of the snow. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes coverings of tapestry, and her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known and respected in the gates when he sits for judgment among the elders of the land. She makes fine linen garments and sells them, and supplies sashes for the merchants at the profit. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she will rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up, and they call her blessed. Her husband rises also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but you excel them all. Kindness can be deceitful, and beauty can be vain. But a woman who gives reverence to Yahweh, she will be praised. Give her the reward she has earned, and let her own works praise her in the gate.